Overnight, more than 11,000 film and television writers approved a strike after last-minute negotiations broke down between the Writers Guild of America and production companies, including our own parent company, NBC Universal. And the vote was overwhelming. More than 97% of Guild approved that strike. Many are upset over declining pay, claiming they have taken double-digit pay cuts because of streaming services. Daniel Arkin is a national reporter at NBC News who specializes in film and television and joins us now with the latest on this. Daniel, good morning to you. Thanks good morning. for being here. Thank you. Obviously, pay is a big part of this, but the writer's saying that this actually goes beyond that. What are they asking for? Biggest issue is compensation, as you say. In the last decade, median salaries have gone down dramatically for television writers in particular. They feel underpaid for their work. They feel disrespected. And many of them say it's harder and harder to make a decent living in the trenches of this business. But there are more specific issues at play. And there are three buckets, basically. Number one, duration of shows. In the old days, a network like NBC would greenlight mm. a pilot and order maybe 25 episodes of a sitcom. Mm. Nowadays, Netflix and the other streamers are ordering shows that are much shorter in duration, yeah. as few as five episodes in some cases. That makes it really hard for a writer to maintain a stable income. Some writers are forced to take second jobs after writing on a very popular streaming series. Number two is residuals. In simple terms, that is the money paid out to a writer or a producer when a popular series enters syndication mm -hmm. or gets released on home video. But this is the streaming era, right. and there's really it's already there. there's, there's no such thing as reruns anymore. Right. And very few people mm. are buying Blu-rays or DVDs. And so when Stranger Things, for example, premieres exclusively on Netflix, that's where it lives forever. It's not mm. being syndicated. For the most part, it's not doing gangbusters and DVD sales. Mm. So the writers who might have made a small mm. fortune off of a show like Seinfeld in the 90s or the Big Bang Theory in the 2010s are not seeing those checks coming in. The third piece, and the one that's really interesting to me, it's sort of forward-looking, artificial intelligence. Mm. There is a real fear in mm. all creative, artistic professions oh, yeah. that things like ChatGPT could one day replace human writers. Uh, this is a hypothetical right now, but there is anxiety that an entertainment company or a studio that is desperate to cut costs mm. might consider that. And so what mm. this guild is asking for is some assurances and specifically regulation over AI. God, isn't AI? I mean, it's just changing everything. everywhere. Yeah. yeah, unbelievable. I had a shoot at the MoMA yesterday and in the lobby, there's this massive screen that everybody, I mean, the largest crowd, to be frank, oh, wow. at the whole museum was crowded in front of. And we're like, what is this? What's going on? AI, just AI generated, ever evolving. Wow. You're just like, how does this keep changing yeah. every industry? It's really, really something to see. Um, Daniel, let's talk about what this feels like for somebody at home. So we've heard, you know, right away, late night shows essentially are going dark. They right. have those daily writers and, you know, this didn't work out, so they're not coming to work. Right. What does it mean for longer term? Shows that maybe haven't gone into production yet or movies, that kind of thing. What are we going to actually see on our screens? That's a great question. It's important to look back to the last major writer strike. That was the end of 2007 to the beginning of 2008, 100 days. That meant that most late night shows were dark or not working with mm -hmm. writers during that time, but it didn't last long enough to have a wider, more cascading effect on the yeah. industry at large. If this is a long strike, 100 days or more, it is possible that shows that were planning on starting production at the end of the summer or early fall might be forced to delay those plans. Mm. And that would sort of create this domino effect on the industry at large, pushing releases both in film and television into next year, maybe the year after that. Uh, it also would have a harmful effect on a lot of local economies, places where the film industry is shooting, where it does business. Mm. Uh, a lot of people are worried uh, both in, you know, writers and the studios, that if this is a dragged out strike, uh, it's a tsunami on the whole business. Mm. Ooh. All right, just wow. at the very beginning of it, have a bit of a preview for what happened in 08. We'll see what happens yeah. with this one. Daniel, yeah. thank you. Daniel, Thanks for thank having you so me. Much. You were Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.